A little over a month ago, I made a post on my blog highlighting what I felt would be the most important features in the new WordPress 2.9 release for the average daily uh, user of WordPress. And those features were the new post thumbnails, the trash status, basic image editing features, and the media embeds. So it's getting pretty close to the time for 2.9 to be released. It hasn't been yet. 2.86 is still the latest stable version. Uh, so I thought I'd make a video highlighting some of these. Uh, now to keep this video under 10 minutes for YouTube, I'm just going to cover the three at the top. For the media embeds, you can read a very detailed blog post here. Go to this URL and you can read a nice overview of uh, the media embedding feature. So I won't cover that in the video. Now I'm running a beta 2 version of 2.9 here. Uh, so let's look at the trash status first. When you install 2.9 uh, in any of the areas where you're actually uh, dealing with post, media, pages, or comments, uh, you're going to have a trash status now instead of just a delete key. So if I go here to my post and look at edit, when we hover over post, now I see a link to a trash. Uh, where in the past, if we look back here on my 2.8 site, I had a link just to delete the post. So I could click that, delete it. If I do that, it deletes it from the database and I'm not getting it back. Uh, but now, uh, on your post, instead of a delete link, there's a trash link. If you click on trash, then notice it automatically sends that post to the trash. Uh, but it's not deleted. It just moves it and takes it off the site, but marks it as trash. So I could go through now and delete or trash several of my posts, and I'm essentially just sending them to the trash bin, like you may do when you delete files on your computer. And then in the future, if I wanted to get those back, uh, I could click on trash. I'll see all of them that's, that are now in the trash bin, and I can choose to delete them permanently or restore them. And of course, you still have bulk actions, so at any time I could come over here and click on this and then delete them all permanently or restore them all. So it's pretty nice. Uh, and if you go to your media, uh, you have the same thing now. If you look on media, now you have a trash. Oddly enough, there's not one in links. Links still just has a delete. There's no trash there. Pages, you can trash pages uh, now, and you can do the same thing with comments. So on your comments here, uh, you can send them to the trash. The one thing I did notice that uh, seemed a little odd is that you can't, it seems, actually delete something. You know, if I really wanted to just go ahead and delete this test post, it seems as though I have to send it to the trash first and then go to the trash and delete it. So I'm not sure if that is by design or if it's an oversight or if I'm just missing something, but it seems like it would be nice on the post and pages and comments and so forth to still have the delete link as well, so you could choose to delete or trash it. Uh, I may be overlooking something. Anyway, uh, I think it's a nice feature. So the next thing let's look at is the actual media. Now this is the one that's really going to make a lot of people happy, I think. Uh, if we go and I'm just going to add a new image here to the media library. Typically what I recommend to people when they upload images is to size the image first before uploading to WordPress. Uh, for example, this image that I'm uploading here is 3,888 pixels by 2,592 and it's 3.17 megabyte. There would be absolutely no reason to upload that to a blog to display in a post or a page. It's way too big. The file size is way too large. Uh, the only reason you might want to do that is if you wanted to provide a high quality version for someone to download. So I, in the past I recommended that people open those images in an image editor, resize them, crop them, do whatever they wanted with the image first, and then upload them. Uh, well now you don't have to do that when 2.9 comes out. So I'm going to upload this unedited image. And now when it uploads, I can click on edit and we'll see the image here as normal, but now I have an edit image button. And you'll see this edit image in lots of different places when you're viewing images in lots of different screens. Uh, but here, I, let's click on edit image. Now this is a really nice built-in image editor. Uh, so just to basically go over a few, I could come here and click on scale image. Click the drop down, it gives you some text here and it shows me the dimensions of this image and I could come in here if I wanted now and proportionally scale this down the entire image to a smaller size so let's say I wanted a 400 pixel image I type in the width and it automatically scales the height so that it keeps it in proportion so I could click scale and then it will resize that image to a 400 by 266 
pixel image. Once you edit an image, you can restore it back to its original size if you uh, don't want to keep that. Uh, you can crop your images several different ways. I won't go through everything. Again, I'm trying to keep this video under 10 minutes. But click on the links. If you click on Help, it'll open. gives you lots of good information here about cropping an image. So, for example, I could drag across a part of this image now. Select what I want to crop out. Click the Crop tool and crop the image right here within WordPress instead of having to do it through an image editor on my computer. Uh, then you have these other basic um, image tools at the top. You can rotate your image if you want. Clockwise, counterclockwise. You can flip your image vertically. Uh, flip the image horizontally if you want. And then you have undo and, and redo buttons here. So again, a really nice little built-in image editor that I think is going to be one of the things for a lot of people that's uh, going to be really the sort of the star improvement uh, in the 2.9 version. But once you've edited your image, you just click Save. It'll save your image, and then you're done. No more having to do the editing um, offline and then uploading your edited images. Now the last thing I'll look at here briefly is the Post Thumbnails feature. Uh, in WordPress now, if you look uh, when you're creating a new post or editing a post, if you look on the right, you'll have a post thumbnail drop down menu. The ability to put post thumbnails in your post is going to depend on whether your theme supports thumbnails or not. Uh, on this site here, I'm using the default Kubrick theme and it doesn't support post thumbnails. If your theme doesn't support thumbnails, then you'll see here that then you'll see this message that it doesn't support them. Uh, and in that case, then you have a couple of options. You can just forget about using thumbnails, or um, you can, if you want to get that menu out of your way, you can go up to your screen options and take the post thumbnail menu off, or uh, you can actually add the um, post thumbnail code to your themes functions PHP file uh, and be able to use them in your theme. Uh, so let's look at how to do that. Uh, if your theme already supports post thumbnails, you won't need to do this. You should see a menu here to allow you to actually insert a thumbnail. But if your theme doesn't support a thumbnail, <clears throat> then you can take this code, should be able to take this code, uh, and put it in your functions PHP file in your theme. I'm just going to copy this code. You can pause the video and see what it is if you want. I've zoomed in on it. Uh, go to your functions PHP file in your theme. I'm using the default Kubrick theme, functions PHP put that code in your theme somewhere in that file and save. Now that I've added that to my theme, I'm just going to refresh. And now you see here I have a set thumbnail. So now I could come in, click on set thumbnail. It'll take me to my media menu. I can upload an image or pick one from my media library. I'll just go to the library and choose one. Let's assume I want this censorship button to be the thumbnail. It's uh, 150 by 150. It's small enough. I'll insert. And now I have a post thumbnail automatically inserted. It's really sort of the same thing as you inserting an image here manually through your image uploader, but it'll automatically format your thumbnail for you So and the text wrap around it. So I could type in my text and so forth here, um, publish this, and then you'll see that the, uh, the image should come out and look nice on your uh, in your theme and of course how it's formatted and laid out and so forth will depend on your theme but uh, it's a pretty nice feature of course you could always do that just by inserting an image manually and wrapping text around it but this makes it easy to put that thumbnail in your post just with a couple of clicks of course if you have a theme that's designed for post thumbnails then it makes it a, a lot easier than having to go in and insert them using custom fields and things such as that.